Among the Sleep is a horror game that has you playing as a two-year-old child who wakes up in the middle of the night to find the house seemingly abandoned and full of strange and scary noises. An alpha build of the game is available to download on Steam now. It is far from complete and the rift support is not perfect, but the unique premise makes it worth a look even at this early stage. We have to be very quiet. You don't know what might be listening. Playing as a child in the Rift is an interesting exploration of using VR to experience what it is like to be someone radically different from yourself. The game creates not only a sense of presence, but also a sense of being. The unusual sense of scale of things relative to your small body transforms their meaning. Coach stands loom ominously, and countertops become mountains to be climbed. Nighttime is a scary place for a toddler who is prone to misinterpret the mundane as threatening, and Among the Sleep does quite a good job of conveying this. For example, as the demo opens, your teddy bear is taken from you by an invisible force. Later, you follow the eerie sounds of someone coughing and crying for help. As you grudgingly investigate, half expecting to encounter some abomination, you discover that the cries are coming from the washing machine, where your teddy has been placed. Oh, thank you. <coughs> Something's not right. We need to find your mother. This is a nice twist. In our hero's young mind, we have saved Teddy from some heinous torture, but as players we are comforted by the revelation that what we had thought was malevolence was probably just a mother taking the opportunity to clean a comforter. Perhaps there is nothing to fear at all, that all sense of danger is in our head. Hugging Teddy gives a tangible gameplay benefit too, by lighting the darkened rooms of the house a little better. However, Teddy gives some ominous warnings and the game soon settles into a more straightforward horror game rhythm. It becomes clear that there definitely is something sinister going on. Where are your parents? And if they're not around, then who just opened that door? What is real? What is nightmare? It is hard to tell and it is constantly unsettling. All good horror games are about disempowerment, and there isn't much more disempowering than being stuck inside the body of a two-year-old. Looking down at your tiny body and clumsy, pigeon-toed gait will make you feel very fragile. Among the Sleep is incredibly creepy and packs in a couple of big jump scares. Even though I'm pretty sure there's not actually any way to die in the demo, it creates such a sense of foreboding that it can be difficult to force yourself to play on. The main thrust of the game's puzzle solving is traversal. Door handles are out of reach, so progress through the rooms often entails clambering up furniture. Crawling allows you to get through narrow gaps, and is actually the fastest way of getting around. You can run, but your inexperienced sense of balance can cause you to trip over. Unfortunately, climbing and falling, along with switching between a walk and a crawl, all seem to contribute to simulation sickness which, combined with the ever-present sense of dread, can make the experience uncomfortable and difficult to get through without taking frequent breaks. Even though, as I said, Playing as a toddler supports Among the Sleep's chosen genre, I can't help but think that the concept is actually a little wasted as a horror game, particularly one as relentlessly creepy as this. A lot of people simply cannot take the intensity of horror on the rift, and will be put off this interesting game as a consequence. 
Given the quantity of other horror titles being developed for VR, I wonder if Among the Sleep might find a larger and more receptive audience by heading in a more playful direction, along the lines of Baby's Day Out or Rugrats, still using the toddler's unique perspective to recontextualise everyday things, but with a joyful and mischievous tone. It is only fair to judge it for what it is, however, and in VR or on a screen, Among the Sleep is an innovative concept that will probably be worth your time when it is complete. In the Rift, it is a genuinely scary experience that is very successful at transporting you into the body and mindset of a young child roused from sleep by a storm. However, developers Krillbyte will need to take a look at further optimising the experience for the Rift, as nausea was definitely a problem for me during my playthrough. Among the Sleep doesn't succeed perfectly in transporting you into the body of a two-year-old, but this experiment in being someone else shows promise and takes a few baby steps in the right direction.